And now your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Keel. And here's a look at the situation across the south right now. We've got uh, numerous showers and thunderstorms here in Texas, especially south of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's where we're getting uh, really a heavy hit of some uh, heavier rainfall. Starting to see some of that development here in Louisiana, and it's this area that's going to fill in where we are concerned about that flash flood risk here heading into the late afternoon and evening hours and even into the overnight as well. So I'm sure the severe weather and the flooding impacts will be dominating weather headlines here tomorrow. Here locally, things have been relatively quiet here this morning heading into the early afternoon. Just a couple of thunderstorms that have popped up here in uh, portions of Jackson Carroll and Joe Davies County in our viewing area. We'll zoom right into Joe Davies County. This is east of Galena right there around uh, Chatville just getting in on some heavy rain that continues to track off to the uh, northeast into Rush and then eventually crossing the state line heading into Wisconsin. So some heavy rain associated with this. A couple more areas of heavy rain are a possibility here with any thunderstorms that develop. Heading into Des Moines County, Iowa right around Danville though around Highway 34, just south of New London. That's where we have seen a shower pop up. This is going to likely continue to track northeast along a cold front to near Dodgeville. Uh, Burlington right now, you are dry, but again, we'll see a scattering of these thunderstorms develop here over the next few hours. Luckily, severe weather threat, very low, but maybe some small hail out of some of the stronger storms if they build high enough. Right now, just some puffy cumulus clouds, also some high clouds noted here on our live sky view camera over the Quad Cities. Uh, our temperatures have warmed up into the 70s, so it's overall a pretty nice spring day, although it does feel just a little bit humid outside. 74 degrees right now in Clinton as well as Moline and Muscatine. 71 in Burlington, Rock Falls and Princeton. 68 degrees in Kiwani. 70 even in Galena. As we take a look at exact track, again, it's doing a good job showing the scattered nature of the thunderstorms, but uh, here's our cold front right here that's going to be moving through. And watch as this does get a little more active here over the next couple of hours with some scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms. Quick gust of wind possible with these as well and some brief heavy rainfalls. These continue to track off to the uh, east here as we head throughout the afternoon and early evening. By sunset, we'll see that front kind of wash out and we'll be left with dry conditions heading into the overnight hours. As that sky clears up and with some low level moisture in place, there could be the potential for a little fog that develops here very early Friday morning. And within the fog, there could be a few patchy areas of drizzle. This will probably lift here by 10, 11 o'clock and we'll be left with sunny skies here. I would say a sunny to partly cloudy sky in the afternoon. A couple instability showers possible, mainly east of the TV. 6 viewing area. Then as we head into Friday night, we'll clear the sky out and that is going to lead us to a lot of sunshine here as we head into the weekend. So heading into Saturday morning, any fog should mainly be to the east. We'll have to watch some lower lying areas there in Bureau County for maybe a little patchy fog, but I want you to take note of the wind it's, uh, coming out of the south here on Saturday. So with lots of sunshine, our temperatures are going to warm up quite a bit, feeling almost like summer heading into the weekend. As far as the rainfall forecast goes, again, very hit or miss. Uh, generally about a tenth to quarter of an inch, but notice here some areas could be uh, getting a little more than a half of an inch of rain, but it's going to be very spotty, and those are really hard to pin down until those showers and thunderstorms actually develop. So have the QC weather app handy here this afternoon as we will uh, continue to see those thunderstorms pop up. Temperatures tonight are going to be on the mild side. We'll have lows in the low to mid 50s, highs tomorrow back close to 80 degrees, and we'll continue with 80s here as we head into early next week. And that's when we'll introduce several chances of showers and thunderstorms here Sunday night through Tuesday night, and then we should start to dry out here by Wednesday. But take a look at some of these temperatures. I've actually bumped up our temperatures heading into Saturday and Sunday. We're talking mid, potentially upper 80s. Saturday could be a little more humid with uh, feels like or the heat index up toward 90 degrees. Ooh. And then we do see scattered showers <laughs> and thunderstorms moving in on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, I haven't had to talk about the heat index in a while, but it's just a sign of what's to come here as we head into summer. Yeah, we are getting close. Closer. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, You're Kyle. Welcome.